Welcome to This Week in Mongmon for October 23rd, 2020. I am your host, Craig Stevens. Let's get started. Drop off old medicines for free. Drugs discarded down the drain can pass through the wastewater treatment plant and into the St. Frank Creek. Instead of throwing them away, residents can take them to a free drop-off event from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, October 24th in the Circular Drive in front of Longmont United Hospital, located at 1950 Mountain View Avenue. Do not park your vehicle or enter the hospital or lobby, and please wear a mask when you enter the drive. Pills, capsules, liquids, inhalers, patches, over-the-counter medicines, etc. are welcomed. However, no needles, thermometers, controlled substances, medical equipment, personal care products, household hazardous wastes, or business wastes are accepted. For more information, visit bit.ly forward slash takeback dash rx or call 303-651-8416. Wildfire resources and how to help. Residents interested in helping those impacted by the wildfires can find fire updates and support opportunities online. Read more at longmontcolorado.gov forward slash home forward slash components forward slash news forward slash news forward slash 11304 forward slash three. Free groceries for Longmont residents. Three grocery distribution sites, made possible by the Friends of Longmont Youth, are open for those in need. Drive up and walk up service is on. Mondays from 3.30 to 5 p.m. at the Emory Street Apartments, located at 1440 Emory Street. On Tuesdays from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at River Valley Mobile Home Park, located at 10,910 Turner Boulevard. And on Fridays from 3.30 to 5 p.m. at Clover Basin Village, located at 630 South Peck Drive. Please wear a mask when picking up groceries. Find more information at longmontcolorado.gov forward slash food. Virtual Talk, 100 Years of Women's Suffrage. The 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified in 1920, giving American women, like men, all the rights and responsibilities of citizenship. Tune in at 7.30 p.m. on Thursday, October 29th for a panel discussion with four civilly engaged women as they reflect on the century-long struggle that led to women's suffrage, what's happened in the hundred years since, and what remains to be done. View on the Longmont Museum's Facebook page, longmontpublicmedia.org, uh, or on local Comcast Channel 8, 880. Celebrate. Day of the Dead virtually. We can't gather for the, the usual festival, but you can celebrate Day of the Dead from home with all the performances you love. Performers include Las Dalias Singing Mexican Trio, Grupo Folklorico Mexico, Lindo Dance, Mariachi, Poetry by Bilingual Community Leader Laura Soto, and much more. Tune in from 2.30 to 4 p.m. on Sunday, November 1st, on the Longmont Museum's Facebook page, longmontpublicmedia.org, and on local Comcast Channel 8, 880. Fall Leaf Collection. The City of Longmont offers residents the one-time curbside collection of bag leaves from November 2nd to November 13th. Leaves must be in paper or plastic bags and placed curbside by 7 a.m. on the Monday of your scheduled leaf collection week. To find your collection schedule and rules for leaf collection, please visit bit.ly forward slash longmont dash leaf. Call 303-651-8416 with questions. Local ghost hunter returns to the library. Longmont's international ghost hunter, Richard Estep, is returning to Longmont Public Library online to share new tales of ghosts, poltergeists, and mysterious happenings in Coast to Coast Ghosts from 7 to 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday, November 4th. This program is free and best for those for age 16 and older. Registration is required at bit.ly forward slash libprograms. No internet access? 
Call 303-651-8472 to register. Are you loco about cycling? Do you enjoy riding your bi bicycle for recreation, or is it your transportation? Consider subscribing to the City of Longmont's e-newsletter, Loco About Cycling. Monthly issues include useful information and news, such as planning efforts, new projects, road closures and detours, rules of the road, bicycle riding tips, notices of events and classes offered by the city, and interesting stories from around the world. To subscribe and to read past issues, visit bit.ly forward slash loco archive. This has been This Week in Longmont for October 23rd. Thank you for watching.